Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to Friday the 10th. You wouldn't know it, but there's a crazy rainstorm coming. We're under all kinds of thunder and lightning warnings and all kinds of good stuff. It's supposed to be in the mid-70s tomorrow. It's like 90 out here right now. But anyway, I'm going to start the video here at the end of the day. I um, <laughs> realized I need a hard drive. I don't have any... If I, today's video wouldn't fit on what I have left for memory. So I'm going to just swing to Walmart's and grab another four terabyte hard drive. And then uh, I'm going to try to find, Sawyer's got some kind of, I don't know what he's got, some, looks like mange or something to me. But uh, I'm going to see if I can find that stuff my dad used to use on, on our dogs when I was a kid. That always worked really good. Whatever it is, it doesn't seem to be contagious to other dogs. I don't know if he's got some allergy or whatever, but foods, different foods don't make a difference. But anyway, I'm going to take the iron and I'm going to take a route that'll take us uh, pretty close to railroad tracks for a while. And um, if I have enough gas, I'm going to go to a little place in Chehalis that has non-ethanol fuel. Um, if I'm really near gas, that flying K at the bottom of the hill at the Napa store has non-ethanol. So we'll see where we're at and we'll decide from there. Whew. And this sweltering heat, man, the temperature's not that high, but the humidity, I'm here to tell you, uh, I'll get worse gas mileage because of how thick the air is that I'm going to be passing through. <laughs> I'll see you here in, I don't know, an hour and a half. I'll probably be sunset by the time I get back. That's how these evening rides go. And for the first time in a long time, I'm wearing my uh, my old climb bag, so I can. It's it's a climb bag that's kind of like my like the GSA. He's got some storage. <laughs> All right, if we're gonna kind of follow the train tracks here a little bit, where better to start than right here in Windlock? Take you up the little street view here. Get everything sorted in my pockets here. Ah, there we are. Come on now. It's a Friday. Friday's got to be a train day. Well, I don't know how many miles it is from Winlock to Napa Vine here. But I literally drive right along the mainline tracks the entire way. No train coming, no train to going. But anyway, I'm now going to run across the top of this valley all the way out. Um, to this. I hope it's not just some little roadside. It doesn't give an A as something grocery. I don't know what brand the gas is. It doesn't say. Oh, and by the way, I think um, all of you that uh, commented with a... Uh, um, links to uh to gas buddy and uh and uh about the app um, pure gas that lists where all these non-ethanol stations are thank you thank you thank you man oh man it's dropped to about 75 degrees up on top of this mountain and i've got a headwind it's it's a west wind ocean is straight in front of me man that feels cold it and uh, for good reason I think this is actually it right here I don't know yeah they're open oh no this thing has non-ethanol fuel it looks like everything's closed available diesel only I would say they have uh, nothing here. Where is the ethanol free? I just drove all the way out here for nothing. I did too, didn't I? Good Lord. Oh well. All right, let me go hit the store, 
get a hard drive and some other little things Kelly Kelly's wanting wanting see if I can uh, find that stuff for uh, poor old Sawyer there well I've made my way back to uh, civilization uh, in fact that's the green sign right there we're just saying entering Chehalis this rickety old bridge oh yeah I think that might be the Chehalis River going through there. Off to Old Wally Worlds is where I'm going to hit first. Holy moly. A lot of people out here. Whoa, Mark. God, I haven't been to shadeless Walmarts in quite a while. Alright, I'm going to go run in here and get, get my stuff. Look where the sun is now from, from when I got here. So it wasn't my intentions to uh, end up with a sunset ride, but it looks like I'm bringing one on you. Oh, look at the train going by way off in the distance. I am way over here on the wrong side of the freeway, and one is going by. Son of a gun. Hey, I can say I see one, and if I don't catch this light, I may drive right over the top of it. Wow, what is the temperature? It feels cold. Oh, no, it's 72. <laughs> Man, just think... Uh, couple months from now I'll be thinking 72 is phenomenal look there's a train yay there he is it's moving oh, yeah I got the stuff for Sawyer the hard drive and I got a nice little dog brush most of the brushes we have are for uh, or the only brushes we have is for uh, um, that works for Leo and used to work for Milo, who was uh, the father of Abby and Madison. But he got old and he got old and left us, unfortunately. Oh, they got a little street fair thing going on. I bet you Kelly didn't know anything about that. Man, is it beautiful out here? Shahalis action and sunset. Look at that. Man, I don't know what you're thinking. But I can't be this close and not do a quick swing up. We gotta go see how the old barking dog's doing. Maybe he likes the evening sunset to come out. Oh yeah, look at this light. Remember that was a thing there for a while that just slammed them Volkswagen Beetles to the ground. Ooh, that is bright sun. map this thing how it broadened the power band on this thing like crazy you can idle and you can be bouncing off the rev limiter and man she pulls until just maybe like 500 rpms or maybe more before it whoop, 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 hits the red line i see something moving in them bushes am i about to get jumped come on dog be out here Oh, I don't see him anywhere. I don't want to be a weird guy and look straight into his garage. And if I ever see that guy standing out there, I'm going to say, so, about the Border Collie, let's talk. Look at this in this light. Noisy 
crazy back in these neighborhoods. Let's keep the peace. <laughs> One day, that's a few years ago, I just come whoop, whizzing right through that stop sign. The bush was like covering it or something. I didn't see it until literally it was too late to stop. And right where that red car was sitting there was was a I think it was a Lewis County Sheriff. He's sitting there in his car. I don't know what he's doing. He must <laughs> he must have been looking down at some paperwork or something. Cause I went, well, it's one of those things you should just go ahead and pull on over. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Never came after me. That was the end of the story. <laughs> Should we do it? Be a jerk and do it? Nah, let's do it. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought this was a road I was looking for. I didn't mean to pass through your little thing there. Man, that's really, really nice light. And it's all nice and clean, along with dragging that coastal area and it's uh, pulling all that smoke haze away. God, it's beautiful out here. I love the wind whistling through my helmet. Oh no, that's not mountains you're seeing right in that, if you can see that at all. See what those mountains are? It looks like it's continuing. That is a storm front. There she is right there. There's the face of the storm. We're under all kinds of crazy warnings about that thing. Mostly uh, electrical hazards. They're saying it's gonna be quite a quite a thunderstorm. We don't get a lot of thunderstorms around here, so people don't know how to deal with them. You gotta put all the warnings in there. I grew up in thunderstorms pretty much know what to do. I remember when we first moved up here, my first day of school, um, my, uh, my mom drove us to school. And um, we're going down and it's drizzling rain and seeing all these people walking along with umbrellas in their hands. You absolutely don't, I, where I grew up, especially like in Texas, you don't walk around with no umbrella. <laughs> Oh man, why don't you just walk around with a lightning rod in your hand, you know? You knucklehead. <laughs> Craziest thing we've ever seen. That and the fact they were walking in the rain. That's another thing, wouldn't it? You know, it starts out as a drizzle. But you don't go walk around in that stuff. These people walking around like it's not even raining. I'm going, what's going to happen when the flash flood hits and sucks you down a drainage ditch? Never to be seen again. You get the heck out of there. Because there's like no thunderstorm. One second, whoo, lightning flash right in front of your face. Head for cover. <laughs> All right, let's see what the non-ethanol fuel situation is here. Oh, they're still open. There's, ooh. The premium is just plain ethanol free. It's not like you, uh... oh, that is wicked cool. Look at that, ethanol free. They always seem to have the blue label. So you can, transaction was canceled. Is it saying I'm not worthy? <laughs> Let's try this again. I'm an idiot. I used the Visa card and I said yes to, is it? Yeah, I, it asked if it was a debit card, and I said yes, and it's not a debit card. Ah, well, that would make it tell me. <laughs> yeah, inside. it goes. Uh, inside saying, hey, he's got issues out there. Yeah, it says. Uh, if you want the ethanol, that, there you go. That's pretty cool. You guys have the ethanol free, man. Yeah. That's awesome. So many people that were asking for it, and they've got the racetrack out in Toodle. Yeah. So they've all wanted it for their vehicles out there. Oh yeah. They said they would come in if we switched to it. So. Perfect. The only ones out this way to have it. So. Very nice. Thanks. Uh, you do the same. Oh yeah, baby. That smells like gasoline right there. None of that corn liquor stuff. 
man that gas smelt very very clean and you could see it was so clean you could see down oh it's wonderful so it's nice fresh gas that makes me very happy that i can just come down the hill here to the napa station and uh top her off with some premium non-ethanol fuel i don't care that it's four dollars and twenty cents it's only a motorcycle tank so like i'm filling up a 60 gallon truck tank or something you know she's going you don't even know you've never experienced this iron your big sister in the shop she got herself a tank full of it and she's about to get a tank more tanks to come man i'll run it right down to the wire oh you know that nice that's going to be during the winter not having to worry about that ethanol eating my tanks and Oh yeah, the DR needs gas too, so, uh, well I won't be able to ride it tomorrow because it's supposed to rain. So look at the sign, the speed limit sign now, it's it's like yellow instead of uh, the orange you had the other night. Uh, the orange was so deep it almost looked red. There's my friend right in front of me, never fails. I've seen him a few times out there, and he's also riding a matte black. And uh, it looked like it was an Iron 8A3. <laughs> All right, let's go see the mama. Well, hello there, YouTube. Back out here by the iron. I was like, I got a ritual of doing this, don't I? I take a bike for a ride, and then I'm, I'm, we always vlog right here where it's sitting. <laughs> it's so much fun. They go to sleep on that one. The iron's a little more rough and rugged you don't get quite so relaxed on that one no you need to be paying attention <laughs> yeah. but, don't start that, that's so here oh i think that might have been ann attacking him got abby at her feet dogs dispersed everywhere out here hey sawyer what is it with you and the bark in here but anyway very, very fun ride. Uh, my first non-ethanol station was a fail. I'd be a little afraid to get it from there anyway. Have you guys seen the looks of that thing? I warn you guys about these little ho-dunk things. And when you get those things, just get regular gas and get out. You know, emergency gas fills only. But uh, anyway, I think that's it. All right. I got a lot of ride. I did basically a motor vlog, daily vlog. And it's vlog 9.99. Tomorrow when we wake up will be the thousandth day of vlog, daily That's vlogging. Crazy, crazy, crazy. That's and it's supposed to pour down rain. And when I was coming back, I was by the airport, and you can see it coming. Oh, really? Yeah, it looks like a great big new mountain range back there. Oh, dang. That's the clouds of the rain coming. Looks like they're all attacking Annie back there. But anyway, we're gonna roll out. On all right, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke panel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And I hope your Saturday or Sunday are awesome. And now they're all gonna go. I know, I'm watching in the back of the camera there. <laughs> hey! <laughs> He's sticking your nose down there, Abby. She's, she's trying to get my attention, but she, uh, she got it. Let's yeah. Say. But I was going to say, you guys probably crack up watching the circus show behind us. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> That's crazy. But they have fun. All right. See you tomorrow. You guys take care. See you on the thousand vlog. Yes. Crazy. All right. See you then. Bye, everybody. Bye.